If you're anything like me, you've been watching the humanoid robot space with a mix of excitement and a little bit of skepticism. I mean, we've been promised robot butlers since the 1960s, and somehow I'm still making my own coffee. But things are heating up in 2025, and we've got two heavyweight contenders. Today, we're diving deep into the showdown between China's UB Tech Walker S2 and Tesla's Optimus. Trust me, you're going to want to stick around for this one, especially if you've ever wondered what happens when Silicon Valley meets Shenzhen in a battle of the bots. And hey, while you're here, why not hit that subscribe button? You won't want to miss what's coming next in the revolution. Let's set the stage. On one corner, we've got UB Tech Robotics, a Chinese company founded back in 2012 that's been quietly building up its robot game while everyone was distracted by AI. They've been working on humanoid robots since 2018, and they just dropped their latest creation, the Walker S2. And let me tell you, this thing is not messing around. On the other corner, we've got Tesla led by everyone's favorite Twitter-addicted billionaire. The Optimus project, announced back in 2021, was supposed to be Tesla's next big thing after electric cars and whatever else they're doing these days. Musk has been hyping this robot as a potential multi-trillion dollar business, which is exactly the kind of modest, understated claim we've come to expect from him. Now here's what is fascinating. While Tesla's been busy making promises and showing off prototypes that look like they're controlled by humans, UB Tech just dropped a robot that can work 24-7 without ever needing to plug in. Yeah, you heard that right. This robot changes its own batteries. Let's talk specs first, because I know you nerds love numbers. The Walker S2 stands between 1.62 and 1.76 meters tall, so basically human height, depending on how you configure it. It weighs in at a surprisingly light 43 kilograms, which is like carrying around a particularly large dog. Tesla's Optimus, on the other hand, stands at about 1.73 meters tall and weighs 57 kilograms. So it's a bit taller and heavier, which makes you wonder if it's been hitting the robot gym or if Tesla just couldn't figure out how to make it lighter. Now, here's where Walker S2 really starts to pull ahead. It's got 52 degrees of freedom total, with 20 in its main body, and the rest distributed across its arms and hands. Each hand alone has 11 degrees of freedom, which means it can do some seriously delicate stuff. We're talking sub-millimeter precision here. That's finer than most humans can manage. Optimus? Well, Tesla's being a bit cagey about the exact numbers, but industry estimates put it at around 40-45 degrees of freedom total. So, Walker S2 wins the flexibility contest, hands down, or should I say, hands on. But let's get to the real game changer here, the battery situation. And no, I'm not talking about which robot has better battery life for scrolling through social media. I'm talking about actual work. The Walker S2 comes with not one, but two swappable 48-volt lithium-ion batteries. Each one gives you about two hours of walking time, or four hours of just standing there, looking menacing. When one battery starts running low, the robot doesn't just stop working and wait for a charge. It walks itself over to a charging station, reaches behind its back, pulls out the depleted battery, pops in a fresh one, and gets back to work. The whole process takes about three minutes. Now, what about Optimus? Well, Tesla's robot can supposedly find its own charging station and plug itself in, which is neat and all, but then it has to just sit there for hours. The latest reports suggest it can run for several hours on a charge, but nobody's giving exact numbers. And while it's sitting there charging, the Walker S2 is still working, probably judging Optimus for being so inefficient. Let's talk about what these robots can actually do, because specs are great and all, but if they can't do anything useful, who cares? The Walker S2 is built for industrial work. We're talking factories, warehouses, places where humans are currently doing repetitive, boring, or potentially dangerous tasks. It can walk it up to 2 meters per second, which is faster than your average office worker heading to the break room. It can squat down with a 170-degree pitch range and rotate its torso 162 degrees, and it can lift up to 15 kilograms per arm. UB Tech has already been testing these things in real factories. They've got Walker S2 units working at BYD, NIO, and Geely Zeker plants in China. One Walker S Lite, a lighter version, reportedly worked for 21 straight days at a Zeker factory, lifting 15 kilogram boxes and generally being more reliable. They're doing quality inspections, material handling, all sorts of stuff that humans find mind-numbingly boring. And they claim the robot achieves over 99% accuracy in quality inspections. I don't know about you, so that's pretty impressive. Now, what about Optimus? Tesla's vision is a bit broader. They're not just thinking factories. They're thinking homes, offices, basically anywhere humans work. Musk has talked about Optimus doing everything from factory work to household chores, which sounds great in theory. The latest Optimus Gen 2, unveiled in December 2023, showed some improvements. 30% faster movement and 22 pounds lighter than the previous version. But we're still in prototype territory here. 
Tesla's been showing off videos of Optimus walking around, picking things up, doing basic tasks. According to a recent report, Tesla is way behind on its production goals. They promised at least 5,000 Optimus bots by the end of 2025, but eight months into the year, they've only produced a few hundred. Meanwhile, Ubitech is already deploying Walker S2 units in actual factories. It's like Tesla's is still talking about how great their party is going to be while Ubitech is already three drinks in and dancing on the tables. Neither company has been particularly forthcoming about how much these robots will actually cost. For the Walker S2, Ubitech hasn't released official pricing, but industry analysts are estimating somewhere between $68,000 and $100,000 per unit for small-scale production. With mass production, assuming they can hit 10,000 units a year, that could drop to around $50,000, which sounds like a lot until you consider that a factory worker costs way more than that over a year, especially when you factor in benefits, coffee breaks, and sick days. Tesla's Optimus? Well, Elon Musk has estimated it'll cost between $20,000 and $30,000, which is significantly cheaper. But this is Elon Musk we're talking about the same guy who promised full self-driving would be ready next year, every year for the past decade. So take that pricing estimate with a grain of salt. The reality is we probably won't know the real cost until these things are actually in production and being sold. And given Tesla's track record with meeting deadlines and cost targets, I wouldn't hold my breath waiting for a $20,000 Optimus anytime soon. So where does this leave us in the great humanoid robot showdown of 2025? On one hand, you've got UB Tech's Walker S2, a robot that's already working in factories, can change its own batteries and seems to actually, you know, work. It's got more degrees of freedom, better battery management, and is already being deployed in real-world settings. The company has been quietly building up its expertise for years, and it shows. On the other hand, you've got Tesla's Optimus, a robot with a lot of hype, a lot of promises, and not much to show for it yet. Tesla's got the brand recognition, the marketing machine, and Elon Musk's ability to generate attention. But they're also behind schedule, over-promising, and still in prototype mode while UB Tech is already putting robots to work. This competition is actually great for everyone. Whether you're Team Walker S2 or Team Optimus, the fact that we've got multiple companies pushing the boundaries of what humanoid robots can do is exciting. We're finally seeing the kind of progress that science fiction has been promising us for decades. UB Tech has proven that autonomous battery swapping is possible, which solves one of the biggest problems facing industrial robots. Tesla, for all its delays and hype, is pushing the conversation forward and making people think about what robots could do beyond just factory work. And let's not forget the other players in this space. Figure AI with their Figure 01, Boston Dynamics with Atlas, and various other companies working on their own humanoid robots. This isn't a two-horse race, it's the beginning of a whole new industry. So, who wins the Walker S2 versus Optimus showdown? If we're judging based on what's actually working in the real world right now, UB Tech's Walker S2 takes it, hands down, it's more flexible, has better battery management, and is already being deployed in factories. The autonomous battery swapping alone is a game-changer that puts it ahead of anything else on the market. But if we're judging based on potential, market impact, and sheer hype, well, Tesla's Optimus might still have a shot. If Tesla can actually deliver on its promises and get these things into production at scale, the lower price point and broader vision could make it a contender. In five years, we might look back at the Walker S2 and Optimus as quaint early attempts, like we now look at the Ford Model T, or one of them might emerge as the dominant design that shapes the future of robotics. It's impossible to say for sure. What I can say is that the robot future is coming faster than most people realize. And whether you're excited about it or terrified of it, or like me, a bit of both, it's going to be fascinating to watch. So what do you think? Are you Team Walker S2 with its impressive battery swapping capabilities and industrial focus? Or are you holding out for Tesla's Optimus and its promises of a more general purpose robot? Maybe you're rooting for another player entirely in the humanoid robot space. Drop your thoughts in the comments below. I'd love to hear what you think about this robot revolution. And hey, if you found this deep dive into the world of humanoid robots interesting, do me a favor and hit that subscribe button. There's a lot happening in tech these days, and I'll be here to break it all down for you. No hype, no BS, just straight talk about the technology that's shaping our future. Plus, you definitely don't want to miss what's coming next in the robot wars. Trust me on this one. Thanks for watching, and remember, the robots are coming. Whether they're here to help, replace, or just judge us silently remains to be seen. But either way, it's going to be one heck of a show.